Today, we're pitting muscle cars against imports. Which of these cars are going to use to take these suckers down? Whoever wins moves on to the race for $10,000. Oh, yeah, oh, kick his ass! What is he doing? We got a little surprise for you. Yeah. You got it! Yeah. What'd you do? Did you bump him? For generations, race fans have wondered which is faster, American muscle or imports. So on a stretch of winding asphalt, we issue the challenge. I'm John Reeve, and this is my Mullet Mafia. We say good old American muscle can beat imports any day. So I'm putting my money where my mouth is with three rounds of racing and ten grand at stake. All you gotta prove is... We're deep in the heart of real America. The capital of redneck race, Kershaw, South Carolina, where we're fixing to spend another day of whooping on imports. There'll be three rounds of racing today. It's good old American muscle versus imports. And if the imports are faster than a redneck, they'll go home with $10,000 of my money. In this first round, we're throwing open the gates and inviting anyone who's got an import to come in and try to outrace a redneck. Before we get out there and blow these punks out of the water, me and my boys want to walk the line first and size them up a bit. This college boy here is Jeremy. John Reap, and he brought a Nissan. Uh, how many horsepowers does a wiener dog have? Uh, right around 500 to the wheels. No, we zero. Zero. <laughs> Incorrect. I think we found our first customer. Cha-ching! I'm not sure if you're going to be driving a Dodge truck, a farm tractor, or whatever they bring to the track, but um, I plan on uh, showing them what the import can do for sure. The rules of round one are simple. The first two import drivers who win a race against a redneck move on to round two. All three rounds of racing today will begin with a 35-mile-an-hour rolling start, less wear and tear on the cars. And this first round will only be a one-lap race, so everyone's got to come out the hole like a madman. First on deck, Jeremy in the red GTR versus the Rattlers 2012 Mustang. It's time to see what we're up against. To say the Rattler lost is an understatement. Come on, Rattlesnake! Right. This Jeremy kid spanked him like a newborn. Shameful, really. So now Mr. Red Nissan's moving on to the next round. Lucky bastard. Listen, I know you cheated. What'd you do? You got a flux capacitor? No, just import power for you, buddy. Import power. At first, I was depressed on account of the Rattler lost. So hopefully, he can redeem himself against this tin can. Oh. Oh. The Subaru lost. There's one punk down. Not fast. And that set off a redneck stomping spree. First, we stomped on the little Miata. Look at that, of course it's gonna lose. It's like teal. Then we stomped on that little silver pretzel muncher. Good job, good job. Another victory for the rednecks. Shocker. Here's Anthony. He loves his car so much that he brought it on its own trailer. How sweet. Well, he better have some skill because he's going up against Yancey in the 2010 Camaro. No contest. He did there, that's just dirty poop. Cheater, cheater, punkinator. I bet you feel really happy right now. I feel awesome, man. Well, what, win. what what'd you do? Did you bump him? Uh, you know what? I have position in that turn, and he couldn't slow down. Congratulations, you're going on to the next round. Thanks, you won't be so lucky next time. Get out of here. I see Yancey do that, and I'm in shock. That's not just Bush League, that's like, Kurt Bush League. Uh, that BMW driver definitely does not know what a line is. And to drive right into somebody, needs a good ask you. Look, I know there's 10K of my money on the line here, but we don't have to be dicks about it. So I'm DQ and Yancey for the rest of the day. That's it. He's out. Final decision. Well, it looks like two preppies won, so we have to go talk to him. Oh, hell no. A BMW. A BMW. <laughs> Look at it. It's already got a big dent in the side of it. That's the car that's going to kick your ass on the track. <laughs> yeah, right. My name's Anthony. I'm from Florence, Kentucky, and I'm an automotive engineer. I've got a BMW M3 E46, and it's stripped out. It's got good suspension, tires. The car does its job. 
You guys owe me four grand. Now I gotta take your 10 grand so I can fix this. What? We don't owe you. I don't think they really knew what they were looking at. They have never seen carbon fiber before. Oh no, that's carbon fiber. Right. You guys wouldn't know anything about that. It's a uh, space age material. Thanks, Jetsons. <laughs> so they don't even know what they're gonna be up against. We'll see you on the track. We'll see you on the track. Loser. Looky here, a Nissan GTR. Well, let's see if we can scratch the hey red guys, line. Guys, don't be touching the car, getting it all <laughs> greasy. My name is Jeremy. I'm a director of marketing and sales for Southside Performance. We're located in Houston, Texas. I have a 2010 Nissan GTR, twin turbocharged 3.8 liter V6, tons of suspension, lots of aero, and lots of power. I don't think they really knew what was going on with my car. They, they didn't know what the car was to begin with. It's just an overrated Datsun. That's right. Oh, it's like a wiener dog. If I win the 10 grand, I'm gonna, you know, save a little bit of money for a wedding that I have uh, coming up and pay some bills off, basically. Guys, what do you say we uh, we go figure out what we're gonna yeah. use to beat this piece of crap? Yeah. Go You're gonna need to come up with something real, real good. Let's American go. muscle, yeah. son. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Import muscle here, yeah. bud. Okay. Hey, keep your britches on, yeah, prep. We'll do, bud. We'll do. We'll be See back. See you on the track. All right, guys, help me out. We gotta get serious here. Which of these cars we're gonna use to take these suckers down? Put the Challenger out there. I think I can match his arrow. Well, it's a 09 Dodge Challenger. I built it myself. Of course, it's got the Hemi in it. It's got a lot of power. It's also got a lot of weight. But uh, I don't know anything else I'd rather run. Anybody else? Let's throw out the green grenade, and I'll pull the pin on their ass. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the 69 Green Camaro, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a weapon. LS7 engine, 600 horsepower, full Detroit speed. I mean, that thing is just an awesome car. Pull out the Terlingua Mustang. You serious? I'm serious. All right, buddy. Boom! That car is a throwback to salute Carroll Shelby and his Terlingua race team that raced SCCA back in the 60s. So we got three monsters to put up against these imports, and now these punks get to choose which one they want to race. You guys ready? Hell yeah! Go. What are you looking at me for? Let's go! Come on! I want you to listen to this. That's the sound of red, white, and blue right there. Woo! We had a surprise. We've been racing all morning trying to show these two preppies how much imports suck when put up against real American muscle. They made it to round two so far. This is where the fun begins. So here we are, round two of redneck racing. Now, you each are going to get a go around with one of our all-American vehicles. Whoever wins moves on to the race for $10,000. All right, boys, open sesame. <laughs> each one of these cars is going to put a hurting on you, OK? You get the honor of choosing which one. So Anthony, you had the best track time, so we're going to let you go first, all right? Pick your poison, buddy. This one here kind of hurts my eyes, so I don't think I'm going to go with that. I don't want to run against a yellow car because it's yellow is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard in my life. This one here looks like an active race car. I think I'm going to eliminate that one. So I'm going to go with the car that's got the interior. What? I don't You're know what it is. You're going to go with the Camaro? A Camaro, is that what it is? All right. When he picked that, I was. Uh screaming inside, because that is the one car that I did not want to go up against. Did you hear that, Brian? Crank it up. Let's do this. I want you to listen to this. That was a huge mistake on his part. He didn't know that that was the fastest car in that group. That's the sound of red, white, and blue right there. I've developed the handling on the car, and I know how to drive it to the limit. So with me behind the wheel, these guys are not going to stand a chance. You ready? Let's roll out. Let's get to racing, boys. Round two is officially off. And if you remember, the races will begin with a rolling start. But there's three laps this time. So now we find out who can really drive. Looks like we got a 2001 Beamer M3 versus the Redneck Grenade, AKA 69 Camaro. Now that's what I call kick ass. I'm here in the booth with Ken Squire for the first semifinal race. 
And welcome, America, to Carolina Motorsports Park, Kershaw, South Carolina. Joined by John Reap to bring us the action today. You ready to pick guy? I am ready. I am pumped. Now, the competitor here is someone that I presume you know. My man. If Ryan. you want to if you want to have a fight, this is the guy you want to have a fight with. Yeah, baby. He is tough. Yeah. There's just a big can of Finch whoop ass coming right now. The green flag has been flown. The Camaro is in the lead, like I planned it. Look at that battle up in front. Wheel to wheel, side by side into that corner. Woo! Oh, oh, we hit some dirt. Yeah. Yeah, a little dust bowl. Come on, Brian Finch. Do it for the Camaros and do it for America. Well, he may throw it away here if he's not a little more careful. Here they come. Up on that big, fast, super turn. It's car against car, man against man, and the duel continues for three laps in each of these events. Looking good, Brian, looking good. Come get you some. Brian is still in the lead. Looks like he's up by like five, six car lengths. Boy, he puts it right on the edge. Look at that line through turns one and two. Come on, Brian, final lap, baby. He nails it. He just stands on it in those straightaways. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, he's so far ahead, I'm getting a little tingle in my dingle, if you oh, know what I'm talking about. Sake. In the final moments of this one. This is it. Final straightaway. Coming down. Go, baby. Go, baby. Woo! 130 yeah. mile an hour plus as he crosses the line. My man. Give it to Brian Finch Chunk of Nashville, up. Tennessee. Another victory for the good guys, Ken. Number one, baby. I told you. Up top, high five, let's do it. You can do a high five or a fist bump. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Did a little redneck ass whooping out there is what we've done. Yeah, nice job, Brian. Thank you, sir. Come on, up top. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. Yeah, for losing. I gave it all I had. Car did its job. Ultimately, it just didn't have enough horsepower. You've got to pick your poison. Are you ready? I'm ready to do let's it. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Come on, son, yeah. yeah. That leaves two cars left, okay? Two of our American muscle cars and your hunk of cow manure. Pick your poison, son. Well, I'm not gonna go with the Challenger here because that just looks like an absolute all-out track beast um, with a ton of arrows, so I'm gonna have to go with the, uh, the yellow Mustang. Ooh, you're going with the Tang, huh? I am. I'm gonna... Yellow Mustang. The Mustang looked the most tame out of all the cars. It was just a bright yellow Mustang with a cage in it. Lonnie, did you hear that? We're about to fry your catfish, son. Crank her up, Lonnie. I want you to listen to this. Let's see if it starts first. The Mustang actually didn't sound all that impressive. It was just noise. <laughs> I have no idea what kind of skills Jeremy has. I don't care. We'll just see what he's got on the track. Let's get to racing. Come on, let's go. Woo! Well, we're halfway through three rounds of muscle versus import racing, and so far only Jeremy and his Nissan are still standing. But that can all change right here, because if he can't win this next race, he might just be going home. You ready, Lonnie? I'm ready, man. All right. Your funeral, sucker. <laughs> We're looking at a 2010 Nissan GTR against a 68 Terlanga Mustang. Keep your overalls on. This is about to get good. At Carolina Motorsports Park in uh, Kershaw, South Carolina, with uh, John Reap, I'm Ken Squire. This is a good one. The yellow yeah. car is the Mustang, and the other car is this state-of-the-art Nissan. This is a video game on four wheels. All right, who is faster than a redneck? We're about to find out. Woo, hopefully nobody. Lottie's gonna put it to him. Here comes the green flag, and they're off! Drag race, and look at that Nissan yank out in front. Go! Go! Yeah! Take it, yeah! Go! Get it! Here they come for that tough 90-degree turn. Come on, Lottie! Into turn one, it, quickly Lonnie. up to turn two. Come well, on, I'm Lonnie. telling you, that little Nissan, 60 miles an hour in about 1.27 seconds. Nice. The thing is yeah. incredible. 
Yeah, and look at it. Pulls to these corners. Fair. But now we're getting into that longer straightaway. Come on, Lonnie. Come on, Lonnie. And Lonnie may be able to overwhelm him right here. Hang on. What are you doing? I think this is over. It's not over. It just started when the first lap. It's all right. It's all right. It ain't over yet. I'm rooting The for Nissan it. is out in front. The Mustang, here it comes in the longest portion of the track. This big straightaway, this drag strip. Pass me that salt. One more. I'm like salt on my watermelon. Keep going. Keep going. All right, so they're around to the second lap. We're about one and a half of the way through. Why don't you discuss Jeremy Roar's native of Baltimore? Who's putting it to it right there? I know. Beautiful it's, it's machine. It's disgusting to look at. 3.8 like twin turbo V6. When you light that puppy up coming off a corner, you'd better have it straight or it'll find its own way off the course. That's a very good driver. We are in the final lap. All right. And Jeremy Roars, R O H R S, is F A S T fast. I think I made the wrong choice. The yellow car is pretty slow. Oh, I see lapis. This is it right here. Yeah, it's getting close. Yeah, There's over. the checkers are out. Boo. Well, it's a big victory Boo. for Europeans, that's for sure. It's oh, embarrassing. for heaven's sake. Look at you. Somehow you snuck into the finals. You win this race, you're going home 10 grand richer. Then I got news for you. Not gonna happen. Jeremy got to pick the car he wanted to race against last go around, but this time it's my choice. I can't wait to see the look on his stupid face. You ready to meet him? Let's see it. All right, release the Kraken! Oh, oh, looky, looky. The year 169 Camaro is top to bottom made in the USA muscle. It's got 600 horses under the hood and enough torque to choke a mule three times. It's the kind of car that keeps tutors up at night. You hear that? Scatter in it. Getting nervous, yeah. yeah. Drum roll, please. We pulled out the 69 number three Camaro, and the surprise was... Any guesses? Nothing. Taylor Hart Jr., who do you got under there? <laughs> Taylor Hart Jr. Drum roll, please. Can you guess who it is? Taylor and Hart Jr., who do you got under there? <laughs> Boom shakalaka! Oh, hey! May I present to you Bo Duke right there, Jeez. one of the fastest rednecks in TV history, the king of rednecks, hey. John Schneider. Yeah! I knew they had some trick up their sleeve after I beat up on the last two guys, and um, I was I didn't know who was coming out of that suit, but he pulled the helmet off and my jaw hit the floor. That's what we're talking about. I think there's a chance I can do well. And if not, I'll put on a show. My brain's like, holy crap, I just met Bo Duke. And then the other part's like, holy crap, I gotta race him. Let's see, let's see. Round three is once again a rolling start and three laps of racing. But this time this punk has a shot at 10 grand. So for the final $10,000 race, I give you the 2010 Nissan GTR versus Bo Duke in the 69 Camaro. It don't get much better than this. All right, here we go. All right, we're down to it. This is the biggie. I'm nervous, man. I got to tell you, you got the legendary, the one and only Bo Duke defending $10,000 of my cash. This is a dream come true for me, Ken, I gotta tell you. And for the rest of the world, John Schneider is driving the black number three. Breaker 1-9, Bo, this here's uh, Cooter, you got yours, oh, come on. Here we go, down to it. Get on it, Bo! Oh, my heart. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, that Nissan just took off, didn't it? On, Nissan boy. said, I'm departing. See you on another planet. Turn. That thing is Godzilla. Come Comes on, from boy. another world. Come on. There they are around the first turn. And now they've got a new challenge. Sun straight in their eyes as they go down this 800 foot straightaway that leads up into turn number three. Come on, Look at this margin already. 
as they come around through that big wide sweeper on the far end of this just about nine tenths of a mile course. It's okay, it's coming to be here. Come on. Here comes Schneider. Uh, alias Bo Duke. Yes. Yeah, number three. Maybe if I just start uh, doing the horn, Dixie. I would don't think we need that, that either. Help no, that... that only works if he's jumping over a river. Oh, oh no! The American you know just does a 360. Oh, no! Is that screw it? It's over. Go! Oh. Getting my 10 grand. Tell me, get across. Tell me, get across. Johnson's cross. Johnson's cross. You remember it. Come on. Take your 10,000. This is my money, Bo. He's got it. He's got it. Boy, you talk about a shortcut. Come on. What is he doing? Well, I think he's having a very good time. Pissing me off, well, well, This is $10,000 hey, of my money. It, 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 it's, it, it's the king of the rednecks. I'm going to have to cancel my Hawaii trip now. You can't cancel the performance of that Nissan. $10,000 ah! right in the pocket of uh, Jeremy Roars. Yeah. Don't go down there and be sour. How would you feel if you just lost ten grand of your own cash? You'd be a little pissed off too, kid. Jeremy Roars has done it. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Kicking some redneck ass. Right there. Great. Just great. Just great. I think I put on a good show. <laughs> but I didn't win. I didn't win. I couldn't find my ass with both hands. <laughs> and once I had the uh, advantage in turn one, it was over with after that. It absolutely kills me to hand over my money, but I can be a good sport about it. <laughs> U.S. American dollars. Right out of your backyard, huh? Don't spend it in one place. Well, I hate to say it, Jeremy, but I guess you are faster than a redneck. Yeah. Let's give him a round of applause, guys. Hey. Good sport. $10,000 beating up on Bo Duke. You know, I mean, short of him having the General Lee out there, I don't know what could have topped this, but it's absolutely awesome. Awesome day. $10,000, I'm going to have one hell of a honeymoon. That's all I got to say. This don't prove nothing, by the way, OK? A tuner was bound to win at some point. That's just the odds. We'll lick our wounds, we'll come back, and we'll show these tuners what's what. And besides, I let them win. <laughs>